I like how there's so much peeling noise. There... I saw this really cool shrinking method that might help some people out. Saw this at the Indianapolis window tint conference this past week, which I attended and totally didn't win the competition, but it was a lot of fun. There are a couple of awesome guys that had a 3M crystalline shrinking demonstration, and I'm gonna try to replicate that today. So I'm gonna insert some footage here of what that looks like, and I'm gonna just go over what they told me, and we're gonna see how easy it is to pick up. Seems like it would be an overall easier way to shrink a car, especially if you're new. Um, and it's also really great for crystalline, which is just a different beast entirely for shrinking. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the idea here is actually pretty simple. We're going to tack this in the middle, split it off into sections a little bit, but we're gonna be using just some regular tape. You can use masking tape, um, or whatever kind of tape you like, just as long as it removes clean is probably better. And we're going to separate this. So you wanna try and bunch things together. So instead of a bunch of little fingers, you have some bigger ones. This, this isn't really that curved on the bottom, so I'm already not really seeing much. There we go, there's one. <laughs> I don't know how many pieces I need. They, they made this look really easy, which is really funny because that's like, what, that's how my videos go? Let's just pick it up and let it let it do what it wants to do. So here I see a big one. Here I see a big one, here. I'm probably making this slightly more complicated than it needs to be. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and then I'm going to tape each little section. So in between the parts, because we're trying to lock everything into these areas. Now the idea is to lock this section down and then basically you're creating an air pocket, right? A hot air pocket and you run it up here. Now I'm familiar with running heat up a back window, but I'm not exactly super proficient in locking down an edge without shrinking this part first. So he basically said like the salt guy and just like whoosh, once you get that edge, Lock down. <laughs> All right. And a little bit. I think I think we're pretty good. We're not like a hundred, but let's uh, let's try this section here. Just a little bit, and then. See, and now I want to. I want to shrink these down, and then I want to do this. <laughs> I'm going to shrink this, and we're going to move things over to the next section. I'm not giving up. I want to like gather these into one big one. I just need everything to like go straight. Okay, so again, we want to start at the bottom, kind of seal that in, and then just, ooh. Almost. It's like the evenness. Here we go again. There's a lot right here. They made this look easy. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like seeing that. I don't, oh. We fried it, but we fried it past the line, so we're okay. And it kind of worked. It's just... You see that little like, zoosh. That's cool. I really like that. Now, this is going interesting. It's a little better. Maybe it's just, and then. That's cool. All right, all right, that was much better. I feel like I have to set up a couple points. I know I put way too many tape spots on this. Because the point is like to lock these down where it's all bunched up together and then just, and then. Oh, look at that, look at how smooth. All right. And then like, I, the rest of it's basically done at this point. 
So I set this up again and I just went through and tried to make the, the fingers a lot more defined. I was a lot more aggressive in the way that I moved everything to just try and like, you know, I carted down on the sides to really try and emphasize where I was gonna be shrinking rather than just kind of let it float all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead with number two and see how this goes. So here we are at the lower passenger corner. You don't have to worry about it. We're just, oh, I forgot the tape. Put a tape here, we'll put a tape here, tape here. And then, cause I'm impatient, let's just go for it. Let's lock this sucker down. Oh, oh, look at it. And it's like running away. Like it's so smooth, it wants to just float. Oh, that was good. So my, uh, my tape's keeping it raised. So you'll probably have an easier time shrinking it without, but I wanna be able to cut on it immediately after. So this is important for me to get it to work together. Oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Look at how smooth. Let's see, let's, let's do this again. Let's do this again. So we're just heating this bottom. Got the heat gun pointed down, just trying to lock in. Lock in my answers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then bring it up. Woo! Look at that. That shrunk, man. Then you can just push it down. You see, and now see how this is going this way? That's where like I would heat up and just press that down like normal. So I gotta work on my positioning. So look at one of these dead on fingers, right? Like where it's only here, it doesn't really wanna go this way or this way, it's all right in here. Just, doo -doo, and then, woo, look at that. And look, I just wanna keep going with this. Oh, it's so fun, <laughs> I just connected it to the top. See, that's so cool. It just makes it fun. One of the most, the most difficult section. And I didn't give myself as much overlap here, but we're just gonna try and warm this hole up, warm this hole up, warm this top edge up completely, and just seal it in, and then. Ah, it's better towards the bottom, not quite so much at the top here. And then, like, here we go back into default mode, right? Where I want to shrink things over. Let me go ahead. Let me keep that a finger. Lock that in. Right, here we go. That's so cool. That's just that you can't get smoother than that. We're in the last section again. And we're just going to try and finesse this down. Look, I just want to keep going with like the whole area. So you can see this is like completely locked down right there. I should probably try this without my, my glass aid here, but I really like the idea of getting this all locked down and like you get it all to, you know, it's all set up ready to cut out. Another example, super fun here. Just wanna get this locked down and then. I just wanna keep going. And then you just like run up the top. Uh, so that's it. That's the whole thing, shrunk. I'll cut on the glass A, trim it, and then like pull it off and then polish it up. Okay, so this is a residual finger from my initial shrink. This is one reason I like to go back through and make sure everything's all locked down. So I obviously need a little bit more practice with this, you know, but for second try, it's 
really, really not a bad option. All right, so the back glass is all set. It turned out great. There was actually nothing that I had to touch up after the fact. Everything laid down smooth. I did notice that the, like, the way the film laid on the glass looked a little bit different than what I'm accustomed to. So I'm really curious to try this out down the road, maybe try it on a charger window with the defrost issues and see if this really helps me down the road. However, I do think this is an awesome shrinking method, especially for new people that are looking to get into this. There's a lot less explaining that has to be done for this. You just section everything off, shrink it, give it that little like zoop, and you're good to go. So um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will have the links in the description to both the 3M trainer and the dealer that showed this demonstration on crystalline. That was super cool. So huge shout out to those guys. And then also um, links, you know, just for everything that I normally use. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.